54-year-old Daniel Williams shot and killed his wife, 51-year-old Linda Williams, in this home right behind me. Again, all the details are not clear at this point, but they are investigating this as a murder-suicide in South Fargo. Time this year, Bison players who shine their brightest right here at the Fargo Dome have been caught up in the Cass County legal system. Charges range from traffic violations to indecent exposure to now voter frost and we are privileged right now to be joined live by 12 term congressman and presidential candidate ron paul yeah tj it's really a bizarre situation if you look down here just outside a sammy's pizza you can clearly see the burn mark inside this landscaping the cause a flicked cigarette butt officials admit they got a little nervous when they heard the call over the scanner that it was at the Pactiv plant one of the best economies in yeah. the country right now how can this state serve as a blueprint for the nation and for your administration as the surveillance video will show you the woman fled out this entrance before hopping into a vehicle that was already waiting for her and immediately fleeing the scene. Tropical storm Isaac is getting closer and closer to our shores tonight. Isaac was bringing down misery on the Caribbean today. The storm is predicted to strengthen into a hurricane by the time it hits the Florida coast, and it could disrupt the Republican National Convention. Now, earlier you picked the Bison to win. I next did. Week. I got to look at that Colorado State that? game. Well, I'll let you know later in the week. Okay. All right. Thanks, Doc. Got it. Up next, John has one last look at your evening forecast. Some people create happiness wherever they go. That's the case for Forum Communications' next beautiful woman, who might be familiar to you, especially if you have kids. Here's Kirsten Keeley with this month's reveal. It's hard for drivers in South Fargo to miss the spectacle on the streets this morning. People danced around, sporting bright blue shirts and waving signs, all to create conversation about women's rights. A man is dead today after a single vehicle rollover accident in Barnes County early this morning. Quite the stark contrast to what we're expecting this week. Yes, he said, uh, you know, today it was minus 16, a lot like North Dakota. All right, <laughs> in the thanks, Rob. <laughs> Later on WDAY, WDAZ News. Come Saturday, thousands of Bison fans will pack these seats to watch their North Dakota State football team try to win it all. But a football game isn't the only thing Frisco, Texas has to offer. Many of us know what Wi-Fi is, wireless internet, the ability to access the entire world through a mobile device. But what many of us may not know is we can turn some of those tablets and smartphones into a mobile hotspot, connecting up to eight other devices to the World Wide Web. But there's always a price. So what does a mobile hotspot cost and who could benefit the most? This is Bill Shammer. Because of flood and high waters, it's been four years since Oak Grove played a true home football game. Well, tonight, that all changes. We'll have the story at 10. A Chaps at 6 with Bill Shammert. Along with a few choice words, there's probably dozens of things running through your mind if you ever find yourself in this kind of situation. It's a minor fender bender. Nobody's injured, but you need to be thorough. Well, don't worry, because now there's an app for that. It's been a few years since I slapped on the pads, but that doesn't mean I don't play football anymore. Now I bring my inner geek out and play right on my smartphone because for my fantasy football addiction, there's an app for that. The short list is dwindling. Names like Senator Marco Rubio, former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty, or Representative Paul Ryan are among the possible candidates. But don't expect a formal press conference for this announcement. To find out who the next vice presidential candidate is, there's an app for that. Hi, how are you? Hi. Bill, nice to meet you. So, uh, Seriously, 12 cats, a Packers fan? You have to be kidding. Worst date ever. I have to go, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. That catastrophe of a date could have led to the longest day of my life. But luckily, it didn't have to because there's an app for that. Are you tired of Google mapping your runs, trying to guesstimate just how far you've gone or how many calories you've burned? Well, look no further, because now there's an app for that. People that know me, they think I'm crazy. Uh, I'm an outside the box thinker if you want to put a term on it, um, but I'm really excited. A few hundred yards in from the north shore of Lake Lida, painted bright green and yellow in true bison pride, sits the ice hole bar, elevated six inches off the ice.
The DNR says 12 inches is safe to drive on. And after a brutally cold week, there are now 23 inches of ice below the bar. This year we've got the best ice I've ever seen, and it sits up four inches off the ice, so the wind's blowing and keeping that heat from penetrating the ice to, so the ice shouldn't, uh, shouldn't get any thinner. Soon, there will be three more holes, just like this one for fishing. The bar will seat about 20, standing room for a few more, and direct TV for the latest games and scores. But how is this all possible? A liquor license was obtained through his business partner, the owner of Hillbillies in Earhart. There was really no roadblocks for us because there was nothing that was stopping us or any law or stipulation that could. Well, it'll be something new for Ottertail County for sure. Ottertail County Sheriff Brian Schluter says there are obvious concerns with the concept. Mixing alcohol, ice, and driving is never good. We check all our liquor establishments and uh, uh, in the county on a regular basis and this will be no, no exceptions. But for now, until the end of the season, Thursday through Sundays from noon till 2 a.m., the Ice Hole Bar is open for business. As for next year, Haugen is already thinking about expanding. We're looking at possibly Otter Tail Lake next year. Um, some of the other more populated ice fishing spots I think are, are uh, achievable goals here in the future for the business. He noticed a boat parked um, and another boat coming about 30, 40 miles an hour. I saw them collide. I saw the boat that was moving jump in the air, and then I could hear the sound. When the Schmidt family and their friends came up from Cedar Rapids, Iowa for the holiday, these are not the kind of fireworks they expected. I could tell it was uh, two massive objects colliding and a lot of fiberglass. Pretty much above the water line of the rear end of the boat was gone, and the engine was exposed. And there were boat parts and people strewn all around both boats. And Two men, a woman, and two children were on the boat at the time of the collision. Little girl, about five, crying hysterically. Um, there's a little boy, probably about seven, and he was he was doing okay, but he was um, bleeding. Um, little girl was also bleeding from her head. Several people on the Schmidt's boat immediately dove in, pulling everyone to safety. You know, I was the only adult with a life vest, and I thought. I'm the perfect candidate to go in. So I just jumped in to, you know, I said, what do you need? What do you need help with? Neighbors tell us Terry Erickson of Fargo suffered a broken pelvis and a broken leg during the accident. They say he was flown to a Minneapolis hospital for his injuries. But perhaps the real tragedy in all of this, the actions of the other boat. And they were arguing with the people in the water that were hurt. And I just, I don't know, I just felt like, Someone should be doing something. We'd like to think that uh, whoever was involved would, would certainly hang around to make sure that people were okay. Not too many missing goat stories turn out quite like this one. Christmas Eve, Curly the goat was on her way from this farm to take part in a nativity scene in Fergus Falls. He brushed off some straw and hay off Curly's back to make Curly look nice for church. And he realized that the lead right here by the halter had slipped out. A three-hour search and countless efforts in the past 25 days turned up few results. I kept telling everybody, don't worry, we'll find Curly. Curly will be fine. But back in my heart, I was very worried about, you know, that she was all by herself and nobody to protect her. After more than a dozen sightings in and around Fergus Falls, Curly was finally found here at the Loomer Farm, about six miles southwest of the city. I was walking down here and and then when I crossed the corner the goat was standing over by the gate. I was so thankful I couldn't believe it. I was sort of like hopping around going, oh yes, 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 we found Curly. When I got closer, when I got a couple feet away from him, you could see his fur was, he was shivering and he was really cold. Akri says Curly looks like she's lost a little weight, but this four-year-old is healthy. Surprising after a journey that saw her travel dozens of miles across a river and most likely an interstate. We hauled Curly home in my husband's car and he held Curly the whole way home and I drove. And the minute Curly put her head on his lap, it's like she just got peaceful and quiet and said, oh, this is daddy and I'm home and everything's just fine. Perhaps next, Akri says, a children's book, The Adventures of Curly, sounds like a bestseller. In Ottertail County, Bill Shamert, WDAY 6 News.